back to the channel. Kevin here bringing you another GT500 video. This one is one I've been waiting on for a long time and I got the sun in my eyes. This is a bad positioning. <laughs> All right, so we have a treat for the GT500. Uh, I've, had been, I've been holding back on you guys. I'm not going to lie. I've been holding back a little bit of a secret. Very excited. Going to make this thing sound the way it needs to sound, the way it should sound. So I'm going to change these clothes, get into something I can work on, get this thing in the air, get this project going. I have purchased an H-pipe for the GT500 probably a week or two after I even bought the car, but I've been sitting on it under the premise that I thought you needed a tune to run it. Uh, I was now told by the guy who's going to be tuning the car that I don't need a tune. And all I need are some O2 defoulers to get rid of the check engine light. So, a little disappointing I've had to wait this long for no reason. But, the car is too quiet. We need to deal with that. So, what I did was I picked up this H-pipe. It is an old Lethal Performance H-pipe. But, it has actually been completely gutted out. So, don't think you're going to be able to see that. But it's been completely hollowed out. So now it's an off-road H-pipe. And it should definitely wake that up quite a bit. So we're going to do that today. Alright, so the car's up on ramps in the front. It's up on jack stands in the back. I'm going to spray the bolts down to try to make this a little bit easier to get them off. You know how rusty bolts can be, so better soak them first. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to end up be filming because my wife's doing yard work. It's going to be noise. My neighbor's reworking his fence. More noise. Um, so I may end up just doing this process and getting back to you when it's over or maybe checking up with you midway through. But anyway, let's get going. All right. So after a little bit of struggle, uh, I actually expected a lot worse. The factory H pipe is out. Or should I say for the GT500s, it comes with an X pipe. Now... If you haven't done one of these before, there is an O2 sensor here, which I actually took off uh, under the car and is still hooked up to the harness. We have two O2s still hooked up to the factory cats there. And the new one is actually an H pipe as opposed to the X pipe. So that is going to give us a lot more of that deeper growl and sound, as well as eliminating the factory cats. Although these are high flow, once again, I don't know if you can see. They have been completely hollowed out. So next step is to get those off of there and onto there. That easy. Now I'm only going to snug these down because they are going to come back off. What's going to happen is because there are, well essentially no cats on here, it's going to throw a check engine light. So I have O2 defoulers on the way which have not gotten here yet which is basically a little J-hook with a restrictor plate in it for the O2 sensor. So that way, that sees a difference from one O2 sensor to the other. So it senses there's a restriction, which makes it think there's a cat and no check engine light. So now I'm gonna wrestle this bad boy back under the car and when I'm done, we're gonna fire it up and see how much better this sounds. All right, so we got the new H-pipe on. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh-oh, I had light in there. I gotta get that out first. All right, first startup. All right, here goes nothing. Now it's test drive time. I'm so excited. Ah, I've been waiting for this for a while. No 
No check engine light yet, but I'm sure it's gonna pop up any second. So I know we have a little bit of exhaust leak to deal with. All I have is uh, you know, a ratchet and a socket. Just hand tighten it is the best I could do. And it's not tight enough. I can hear the uh, bit of exhaust leak on the driver's side. So we're gonna deal with that uh, when I get over to uh, a buddy Geo's house where we can get his air wrench on it and really snug that thing down. But uh, yeah, I mean, just doing it by hand is kind of tough, especially when the nuts and bolts are rusted. <laughs> oh my god, that is so incredible. My goodness oh my oh So I did notice a little bit of a torque loss with the H pipe. Not gonna lie there. A little bit of low end torque gone, but I'm trading it for some higher end horsepower. I can feel it pull a little more on the upper RPMs and uh, the RPMs definitely climb faster than they did before. So it's a bit of a trade off. You're moving some down low power up top. Uh, so it's definitely nice. I never actually was able to chirp or spin third gear before and now it does so it's pretty obvious there's more power all right i am super stoked with the results uh, sounds amazing i definitely have to get that exhaust leak fixed though i don't even know if the uh, ball and socket joint is seated properly or if it's just not tight enough Whatever the situation is, uh, it sucks. I'm gonna have to live with it for a couple days, but I will get it addressed uh, at some point. Uh, that it is frustrating though, because uh, you hear how great the exhaust sounds, but then you hear that fluttering of the exhaust leak, which is very annoying. But what are you gonna do? I can only do so much hand tightening down uh, rusty nuts and bolts. So we're about to get an air wrench on it and double check, make sure it's even seated properly. So the H-pipe install was a semi-success, but it sounds amazing. I definitely gotta get used to the new power delivery because I did lose some low end torque, but the upper RPMs definitely climb a lot faster. And I think there's definitely some more power in that mid to top end range than there was before. Absolutely awesome. It now chirps third gear, never did that before. Uh, so overall, great experience. And on that note, this vlog's over. Go hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video. There's a lot more to come for this thing. I have more in store very, very soon. So don't miss out. Make sure you hit that bell notification and I'll catch you on the next upload.